today Jack has me blindfolded because we're tasting milk chocolate. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, you're going to understand everything. Just trust me. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so milk chocolate has been redefined. Manufacturers are now making this serious chocolate and the color has changed. And ah. you can tell pretty much everything you need to know about milk chocolate by looking at it. Okay. So therefore, you are not allowed to look at it. Now, <laughs> the studio audience can see here, I actually have three samples in front of me and they range in color from very light, the bars that we grew up with, to chocolates that frankly are the same color as bittersweet chocolate. And so I knew that if you saw that it was the color of bittersweet chocolate, you'd be like, hmm, this one has a lot of chocolate, not much sugar, therefore I'm gonna like it. Would you like me to direct your hands? You're just yeah, gonna- Yeah, that's probably You're, a good idea. So why don't we start um, on the sample that is on your right. So we're now at the far right. Okay. You can start nibbling. A couple of things I want you to pay attention to. Obviously, the sugar content. A lot of these have very low sugar and mm. high cacao. Mm. Um, in fact, our winner, just to situate you, has 48% cacao. Wow. So that's almost the you know semi-sweet, bittersweet mm -hmm. chocolate range. Some old-fashioned, what I would call you know childhood candy bars mm -hmm. that are milk chocolate have half as much chocolate and therefore a lot more sugar. So mm -hmm. that's the first sample on your far right. Now I'm gonna direct you to the middle sample. Okay. So sugar and chocolate intensity go hand in hand. More sugar, less intense chocolate. Mm -hmm. Less sugar and you get more chocolate. The other thing is, the overall flavor notes. Mm -hmm. Are you getting citrus? Are you getting coconut? Mm -hmm. Are you getting roasted bitter espresso? Last thing is texture. So this is the third sample, the one that is on your left. Okay. You know, some of them are really creamy. Mm -hmm. um, melt beautifully in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, these are all chocolate. Mm -hmm. They're all milk chocolate. They're all good. Yeah, there's no such thing as bad milk chocolate. Not even a little. But there are differences here, and mm -hmm. there are some that are much better than others, in mm -hmm. my opinion. The studio audience has agreed with the expert panel about what the winner is, so there's a little pressure here. <laughs> so where do you wanna go next? Do you need, do you need some help? Or that was you... three of them, right? Yeah, uh, I think you double dipped on one of them. Yeah, I did, it was um, good. Yeah. I double dipped on my favorite, actually. Uh, okay, do you wanna wow. go back and taste the yeah. other two? No, I'm good. I'm you... good, I know what I like. No. I like chocolate. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you wanna take your blindfold off? Sure, whoa. Hi. Hi! Nice to see you! <laughs> so, um, now that you've done your work, mm -hmm. let's talk about what you liked All right, here. I loved this one. Yeah, I could tell. Absolutely loved it. Creamy, it melted well. It tasted like milk chocolate, but it had more going on in the background. So this was by far my favorite. This one, I knew right off the bat what it was, partly because of the shape, but partly because I eat a lot of s'mores, and this is what I put on my s'mores. And this one, again, unique shape. I thought I knew what it was, but now I'm not so sure. I like it, I've always thought it was a little waxy, if this is what I'm thinking of. And this one was a little waxy, melts well after you chew through the waxy, bits and a fine flavor. But this didn't hold a candle to this one. You're sure about that? Pretty sure. Turn this over. All so right. you picked the runner up. Oh. Um, this is Scharfenberger. It's amazing chocolate. It is. Uh, it has the second highest, not the highest chocolate content here. It's got all these interesting flavor notes mm -hmm. that you can sort of taste from the chocolate. Studio audience, this was their second favorite. Mm -hmm. The expert panel was the second favorite. So why don't we get down here to the end? Okay. So this was endangered species. This has got the highest cacao content. Mm -hmm. So this is 48%. So mm. some companies are actually putting the cacao content on the label. Otherwise, it's very hard to figure out because you've got milk fat and cocoa butter and trying to suss those out in the lab is very difficult. But mm -hmm. this one is you know, at 48%, almost in the you know bittersweet, semi-sweet range. The texture is a little firmer. You it know, is. Um, because it's got a little bit more chocolate. Honestly, mm -hmm. blindfolded, I think this is dark chocolate. If you were to give this to me, I would not say milk chocolate. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, it, it's that intense. Mm -hmm. And then- Last but not you, least. You, you know, yeah. this is Hershey's it's childhood chocolate. Yep. It's fine. It's mm -hmm. got about 50% more sugar mm -hmm. than these top brands. And that means it's got less chocolate. Right. Um, you know, it's very soft, mm -hmm. it's creamy. It's good melter. Yeah. That was fun, Jack, thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it, my favorite milk chocolate is by Scharfenberger, but the winner, which is very good, is by Endangered Species. It's called Smooth and Creamy Milk Chocolate, and it's $3.49 for a three ounce bar. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>